Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we talk about the reality of boat life as a family. You want to talk about living on board with teenagers? <laughs> we show you the desert and Dad tries to free up our stuck dagger board. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. An ocean, a cave, a dream that no one could say. A shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. Yeah. Talk some more about our mud water because, as you know, we love our mud water. And not only has Lee quick coffee and changed over to mud water they make lots of different varieties and I think we've shown you but this one is my favorite other than the mud rise I really love this one it's turmeric it has no caffeine so it doesn't matter what time of the day you drink it it's a really yummy 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 drink the thing I love about this is everything's organic there's no hidden nasties there's no hidden sugar it's no like things that you wouldn't want to put into your body I love that about mud water, but I, mean, I really like drinking this. We all drink this every single day, and it is really good. Are you ready? Go hard. As surfers being in this part of Mexico, we missed the waves, so today we pulled out our kite board and had some fun surfing behind the dinghy. Yep, go. <laughs> We all took turns and we're all loving it. Mum wins stack of the day. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. It was so much fun. We um 
this water is like crystal clear and it's just like a sand bottom. This is my dream spot for wakeboarding, skirting, swimming. It's just amazing. So great. Oh, so fun. We haven't used this board yet. It's a kite board, but it's like the same as a wakeboard. It just has little fins and it's so much fun. <gasps> We kept going until we couldn't do it anymore. It's come for a little bit of a walk around this beach. It's pretty cool, all the rocks and there's like cactuses. We're in the Sea of Cortez. Refrain yourself from peeing, Val Val. It's going to be hard. <laughs> We're doing number two. <laughs> so today was a pretty fun day. We just got back to the boat after being in the water like all day. It was super fun. And yeah, it's like eight o'clock gonna have some dinner and then go to bed because I'm tired. So it's our last day at this anchorage. I think we're we're gonna leave today, go back to La Paz and stock up on more food because as we go further up there's gonna be less places so we kind of stock the boat full of food so that we don't have to go try and find food where there's no food. Anyway, this is our last day here so. One more snorkel before we head off. Moray eels hide in crevices amongst reefs or under rocks. Moray eels primarily feed on octopus and other small fish and crustaceans. We came across this moray eel attacking something in the shallows and we didn't know what it was hunting until we saw a squirt of ink. 
octopus release a cloud of ink when they feel threatened so they can make an escape. We then realised it was an octopus fighting for its life. Even though the octopus put up a powerful fight, the eel won in the end. To our surprise, the eel swam off with only a bite, leaving the rest for the fish, or maybe he would be back. Nature can be brutal, These two seem to be coexisting. Watch your back, buddy. Dad stayed on the boat while we were snorkeling as he was going to fly the drone. But while we were there, he rushed over, grabbed the dinghy and raced off into the distance. Turns out the drone decided to either fly away or drop out of the sky. I just went past this island and then it just, it just went blank. It said lost, com lost communication. I was like, jumped on the paddle board, threw it in the ziplock. I should have got it by at least the distance I went with there. And I was like, oh. And then I jumped in the tender and went out to roughly where it was. No, no reception on the. Does it think? Yeah. Is um, you have like a, like a floating device that. <laughs> yeah. That would have been I awesome. Like, I thought it was really weird. It was like it. See, we saw an eel, a Mori eel. That was leaving this beautiful bay today. We're heading back to La Paz and just going to stock up and then we're going to head north because it is definitely getting into hurricane season now. So we've got to start moving north. But we've had an absolute incredible time here. It's beautiful. Oh, that's okay. You can give it to us next time. But I have your paddle. A pink ball? Yeah. Bye bye, Coco! <laughs> Barrier! Okay, we just had to, we had a few things of theirs on our boat, so we just had to go back and have one last swim. Heading off, we're going back into La Paz, which is unfortunate. It's going the wrong way, but we need some food, so we're gonna do that so we don't have to stop too much on our way north. 
All right, here we go, sailing to La Paz. Hopefully only gonna be there for one night. We lost our drone today. Our DJI just never came back. So Lee's not sure what went wrong. He was flying it, everything was normal, and then it just, what? What happened? It wasn't actually that far away. So I quickly jumped on the paddle board, paddled out to where it should be, wasn't there. So it was either some sort of malfunction or an eagle or there was no jerk or we didn't see any bird feathers or anything. So I don't think it was an eagle. I think it just shut down when it was in the air. So yeah, it was a bit strange. We don't know. I've got the footage there. Um, until the moment it cuts out, it was just sitting there looking back at us. But you said the battery puffing. The batteries have been a little bit puffy lately, so I don't know if it's the heat. I don't know, a lot of variables in there, but we don't have a drone, guys. Uh, we still have our other waterproof drone, but our Mavic was definitely clearer. Yeah. Had, it did better footage, Lee could control it better. But yeah, we... it wasn't a jerk, it was a bit lot smoother, and like Sarah said, better footage. So Lee preferred to fly that drone, but also it was riskier flying it. <laughs> <laughs> because our other one's waterproof and really big and bright orange so it's we're not gonna lose it I don't think in a hurry but the little Mavic went out to sea she's with King Neptune now yeah so that was an expensive day 